Rick wrote of East Anglia. Rickbert may have briefly ruled East Anglia, a small and dependent Anglo-Saxon kingdom which today forms the English counties of Norfolk and Suffolk. Little is known of his life or his reign. According to Bede's Ecclesiastical History of the English People, Rickbert murdered the Eopold of East Anglia in about 627, shortly after Eopold succeeded his father Adwald as king and had then been baptized as a Christian. Following Eopold's death, Rickbert may have become king, a possibility that is not mentioned by Bede or any contemporary commentator. East Anglia then reverted to paganism for three years, before Sigebert and Egric succeeded jointly as kings of East Anglia and ended the kingdom's brief period of apostasy. Background The earliest East Anglian kings were pagans. They belonged to the Wafingus dynasty, named after Waffa, whose ancestors originated from northern Europe and whose descendants ruled the East Angles in an almost unbroken line until after the reign of Ulfwald in the middle of the 8th century. When East Anglia was first mentioned by Bede in his ecclesiastical history of the English people, it was a powerful kingdom ruled by Radwald died about 624. According to Bede, Radwald was recognised as exercising dominance or imperium over the southern Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, a position that was assured when he gave his loyalty and support to Edward of Northumbria who was at the time a fugitive at the East Anglian court and together they defeated Athelfrith of Northumbria on the banks of the River Idol, a tributary of the Trent. Radwald was converted to Christianity in Kent at the invitation of King Athelbert, but, under the influence of his pagan wife, his church contained both a Christian and a pagan altar. Upon his death in around 624, Radwald was succeeded by his surviving son Eopold, who was then converted to the Christian faith shortly after becoming king. According to the historian North, J. Hyam Edwin of Northumbria and Paulinus of York, Edwin's bishop, were able to persuade Eopold to accept an alien cult whose authority rested outside East Anglia. Eopold may have been sponsored by King Edwin at his baptism, which would have resulted in Edwin being acknowledged as Eopold's lord. The East Angles may also have been baptised as a people, which would have undermined Eopold's authority as king and acted against the authority of any long-established pagan cult. The assassination of Eopold Soon after his conversion, Eopold was killed by Rickbert, possibly as the result of a pagan reaction to the East Anglian conversion. Nothing about Rickbert's ancestry or background is known, although his name can be taken to imply that he was a member of the East Anglian elite and was perhaps related to Eopold. The single source for Rickbert, Bede's ecclesiastical history, states that Eopold, not long after he had embraced the Christian faith, was slain by one Rickbert, a pagan, Eurem Eopuel non multo, pros gram fed de mexevit tempo oxesis est eu gentile nomen Rickberto. It is not known where Eopold's murder occurred, nor any other details surrounding his death. Rule Historians generally maintain that Rickbert, if he became king at all, succeeded Eopold and ruled for three years. Bede does not mention him again, only noting that the province was in the air for three years at Exen Tripasani's Perinchian Ero Usato ESD, prior to the accession of Eopold's half-brother or brother Sajbet and his kinsman Ekrik. Scholars have been unable to determine the regnal dates of several kings of this period, including that of Rickbert, with any certainty. Hyam surmises that Rickbert's ability to rule for three years, at the time when Edwin was overlord among the Anglo-Saxons, implies that Rickbert was supported by the East Angles in overthrowing Eopold, whom they regarded as overly compliant towards the Northumbrian king. It has been speculated by Michael Wood and other historians that Rickbert may have been interred in a certain who ship buried under the Wafinga Centre of Authority at Rendlesham, but most experts consider Radwood to be a more likely candidate. Martin Kovrez used the evidence of what he identifies as iconic pagan practices of Southern Who to theorize that the ship burial represents one example of pagan defiance provoked by the perceived menace of a predatory Christian mission. The Excesses In about 630, Christianity was permanently re-established in East Anglia when Sigebert and Ekrick succeeded to rule jointly. Ekrick, who may have been a sub-king until the abdication of Sigebert in around 634, seems to have remained a pagan. There is no evidence that Ekrick adopted or promoted Christianity. Bede wrote nothing to imply that he was a Christian, in contrast to his praise of the devout Sajbath, the first English king to receive a Christian baptism and education before his succession.